So this video is going to be kind of personal, uh, kind of random, um, but I'm going to say everything that needs to be said. So <laughs> I don't know where to start, it's all so exciting and nerve wracking at the same time everything that's happening. <laughs> I'm going to just enjoy my coffee. I've been focusing more on, on other stuff. I'm really skeptical whether or not I should tell you guys this information because it is very personal. But at the end of the day, it is going to improve my my way of life. So I wanted to share this with you. If you're wondering like, where have I gone? What, what am I doing? Why am I not making videos for a while? But for a week or two, there will be a period in the 1st of July probably about a week. I wouldn't want to be away from you guys for too long, but I am going to have surgery. Um, I'm really nervous about it, but I know when I've recovered and when I've healed from the surgery, I'm going to be a lot happier and a lot, just a lot better. But basically back in 2015, I found out I had a breast lump. I had it checked over by the hospital. The hospital told me it was fine. Um, it's not cancerous. Um, they normally call them breast mice, but I am going to be having surgery to get that fixed. It's a term that the doctors use, a breast mouse, because um, the lump can actually move around in the breast and go into certain positions and places, which is very uncomfortable for me. Um, I can't believe I'm telling you guys this, it's just such a personal thing. I just thought it would be a good idea to share this information with my subscribers because I know when I did find out that I had a breast lump it was a very traumatic time for me. I was very emotional and I didn't know what was going on. I went to the hospital to have tests done and it was very scary and I ended up sitting in the hospital waiting room for the results and I just remember bursting out crying. like. Yeah, so I remember sitting in the hospital waiting room. I was I just burst into tears because I was waiting for the results of the examination from the doctor and I was just so upset thinking like what happens if it is cancerous and all these emotions come flooding through and I just it's a really scary time so I just wanted to kind of share this with you guys because I am quite close with you and I do tell you I have told you personal things in the past that have been like quite like whoa like whoa but this is something that if I can help another young girl get through a situation and know that it's okay you're gonna be okay and other people go through this as well every day like this situation is a popular popular thing unfortunately so <laughs> yeah I just wanted to share this with you and let you know that that's going to be happening in July <laughs> it's really scary but I know when it's done I'm going to be a lot happier and, and I'm going to feel healthier <laughs> so <laughs> I won't have to worry about this in the back of my mind and things that could happen you know eventually but I don't know, it's just how my mind works, so I'm really glad that that's going to be getting fixed and stuff. Um, but yeah, I never told you guys when I found out, I just kind of went through a period where I was quite quiet and I didn't really upload a lot, I don't know if you guys remember. Now I'm older and I'm kind of more confident, I do think it is a good thing to share your experiences, especially when it is to do with your health. You know, we're all human beings, we all go through different things, we all heal but sometimes people's bodies just go through stuff a little bit worse than others. So if any of you guys do have any more questions that you would like to ask me, please feel free and I will try and make another question video for you. But yeah, this is a really random video. It's like all over the place, but I just wanted to be really honest with you and sit down and just kind of like have a one-to-one -one sort of thing. Um, like, I don't know how I'm taking it. I probably am acting really weird. I don't know how to act in these situations, like when you're telling people like you don't know, stuff like this, it's, it's weird. Basically, in my mind, I'm focusing more on um, recovering and making sure the recovery process is gonna be nice and smooth. So hopefully it won't take too long. Hopefully within a few weeks, I'll be back to being active and bubbly and all over the place. But for the first week or two, it's gonna be a little bit sensitive and stuff. The disadvantage about doing this at um, this moment in time is because we are doing the Lanka version, 
Um, the healing process basically says that I could not do any heavy lifting, I could not do any exercise, pretty much for like six weeks. <laughs> so I'm going to be out of action um, physically, like hardcore physical labour for, for a while. I'm just going to listen to my body, I'm going to take it easy and I, I don't want to push it, like I really don't want to push it. The whole reason that I'm going through this is so I have a better quality of life. I don't know, like I used to say so many personal things on my YouTube channel and now it's like I feel like I'm not very interesting because I don't share so much information with you but this is important and I think you guys should know that when something is gonna go down like this like this stuff you know if something wrong if something bad happens then at least you guys are gonna know like okay this is why Tessa isn't around at the moment okay <laughs> it's like all right just 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 wanted to just wanted to like make sure everything was going to be okay i mean it's quite a few things that's happening but the next coming weeks is going to be quite busy for me i think more emotionally and mentally um the last two weeks i've been all over the place with my emotions and i would rather have my head screwed on properly <laughs> you know so i don't go completely cray cray um and be in the right state of mind for the surgery because if anything happens that I'm not prepared for I don't want to have like a mental breakdown you know <laughs> it's quite an important thing really um, yeah I, I just I really do hope that you guys can understand what I'm trying to say um, if you can picture it from my side like yes I am very nervous but then I'm excited at the same time I'm just going to be natural this is completely health related <sighs> It'd be fine, it'd be fine. I was nervous before, but like now I've actually said it and got it off my chest and told you, I feel even more nervous. And it's only gonna be a couple weeks from now. So yeah, I have the pre-op on Wednesday and then the surgery on the 8th. I hope everything goes smoothly. I'm gonna end up having like a MRSA test and, and they just need to make sure like I am completely fine before they do anything to me um but i just want to say a really big thank you to all of you guys for your support and following me for all this time i also want to say a big big thank you to all my patreons and thank you so much for your support it really does help me out a lot and i love you all so much if you guys do have any video requests or if you would like me to film the recovery process i think it's going to be quite a helpful thing especially if there are others that go through the same situation i think those videos are very helpful so if you do want me to film the recovery process then i can do that for you but <laughs> bear in mind that it is going to be um, in a couple of weeks so <laughs> i did want to film a video also training my cat to go on the lead and to go outside so that is on the list of videos that i want to do just wanted to say because i know a few of you wanted to see how i trained my cat sushi to go outside on the lead but um i'm so proud of her so yeah that's another thing on my list of videos to do is going to be how i trained my cat when i'm able i will be doing more vlog videos on the van conversion but that won't be until we get the supplies so i don't know how long that will be but yeah thank you so much for your understanding guys and thank you for watching i really do hope this video has helped some of you go through any similar situations so thanks guys and i love you all so so much bye bye